Hi there Pisces, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 4th of January. As this week begins, your ruler Neptune is particularly influential. It's forging a link, a sharp right angle, with Venus which is right at the top of your scope. If you turn on the charm in order to impress someone this week, you've got to make sure that you're not seen or perceived to be in a little bit insincere and in some way putting a gloss over how you really feel. With Mercury also in a more psychological part of your scope as this week begins, but starting to square up with Mars from Monday through to the end of the week, something that is really quite small in terms of the issue it begins with can actually get blown out of proportion. So just be conscious of trying to be as factual in your approach as possible. Also, Mercury starts to go backwards from Tuesday, a retrograde, initially in an area which can see you feeling more anxious or perhaps seeing some deeper psychological issues stirred up. But it is a week where there is still an option for you to be thinking about your long-term future. And the new moon, which comes through by the end of this week, is going to be linking in with Uranus. Now Pluto, which is also in your sector of the long term and future and friendships and associations, is clashing with Uranus and this new moon's going to do the same. And it's a pattern that's been going on a long time. And as I've explained before, it's about balancing your desire to get the kind of future you really want, but in a way that you can live upon. So if you've got particularly idealistic ideas, this continues to be a time when you may have to challenge yourself about the validity of some of those. But also, by Friday, Mercury is rewound back into this same sector as the Sun and Pluto. And it could be over the next few weeks, right through to the 25th of January, that you may find yourself rethinking some of your friendships or some of those long-term aims. Someone could let you down, quite frankly, or there can be plans made for some kind of gathering, and then they can be altered at the last minute. On the other hand, there is an opportunity to meet up with someone from your past that you haven't seen for some while. But Jupiter also starts to rewind, and this is in your sector of relating, and this is particularly important. This is going to go on a lot longer than Mercury, which is just three weeks. Jupiter's for the next four months, through to the 8th of May. So, you must be realistic about who you're interacting with, whether it's a business association or a romantic one. But at the same time, there are some very positive influences heading your way soon. But I just feel for now, as the week comes to a close on the back of that new moon, and we all are at this time of the year thinking very much about the future and what we want, for you it's just about staying utterly grounded in your approach. And if there is someone, that you're really fascinated by, just ask yourself if this would be a person that the people in your everyday life at the moment would really get or appreciate or even approve of. That's not to say that you should reject them if you've got any concerns, but just get to know someone a little bit more and that may require some extra dialogue. And with Mercury and Mars clashing this week, there could be a potential, as I said before, to blow something out of proportion. And I think this week needs to work its way through before you can really make sense of some of the issues that you're faced with just now. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.